Hey guys, Chronicle here, and today we're going to be playing in the Ceramic Crucible. We will be trying out a couple of strategies, probably sticking to normal Ninja Mortar, Ninja Cannon, or even Ninja Wizard. Probably try the free strategies. Uh, keeping out the banana farms, don't really like playing banana farms. So let's start off with Ninja Cannon and Boats as your final tower. As Swan Lake is quite a hard map. Actually, I think I should skip this. Just out of dislike for that Wattle Resorts. You definitely want the boat here. Take ninjas and cannons, as we said. For our final tower, we will get the Spy Factory. Now, on this map, the boat seems to be particularly strong, actually. You can pop down here, he has his range is so high that you can actually shoot across the entire map, which is pretty good. Looks like this guy is going to be going for a wizard start, which is pretty common. He hasn't played any, uh, he's played any banana farms yet, uh, and it looks like he's going to be going for balloon income, going down the blue balloons route, which isn't the best for income as you can't send them out as fast. Let's put down our little spike hoops over here, get them up there, go off right down and continue these red balloons. Maybe get this guy up to a uh, two a uh, one one. And on to blue balloons now. So what makes this strategy here good is the third tier cannon, which is really good against sort of group balloons and take out a lot of balloons quickly. And the ninja, which is very good at taking out Moabs and Similar, especially when you get him up to fourth tier, and he's so cheap to get up to fourth tier. So he's continuing to pink rushes. I think we'll just ignore that for just now. Maybe pop in a ninja or a cannon in a second, depending on what we need. Oh, and it looks like he is going to go down the farms, farm shoot. And a bunch of green balloons. 400 income by round six looks pretty good so far. We're actually causing them some trouble here. He's having to get up the ninja and we're stopping them from building any more farms. So here we'll get larger cannons as well as a cannon right here. Pop this guy on close and get him up to hopefully 3 0 in a couple of seconds. So he's going to probably black rush against the switch is causing a little bit of trouble, but there we go. Now I've got the 3 0. That should be a couple of next few rounds. Should be us. So we'll get our income up to 500. And then work on increasing the defense. Let's pop a ninja down here and get him up to double shot before anything else. So already we have a pretty strong defense, we can always micro if we need to get up the ninja or get up the boat in case he goes that. And right now we have no camo lead popping power. So we'll get him up to destroyer, which should be good for round 13. We will send in a quick wee zebra rush with maybe a couple of regen zebras afterwards, see if we can cause any additional problems there. And it doesn't look like he's, oh, we're gonna force the battle energy. So as soon as that runs out, we will boost a, another wee zebra rush with the few and let's go, let's go zebras. Regen zebras, zebras. See if that can cause them any trouble. 
Oh, and he's going to have to get the fire mage up. But that's not going to be enough. And we're going to take down the Bijemte. So, that's off, off to a great start with the Ninja Cannon. Next, I think we will try Ninja Wizard. Player of zero, 0 Well, let's see if we can uh, make that zero one. Oh, and he's going to skip it. Good. Yellow Brick Road. Yeah, I'll play Yellow Brick Road. Let's take Ninja Wizard and for a final tower, let's take the Tag Shooter. And for a bonus, uh, So I think what we'll go for is a ninja start and I think we'll go right here. I'd always go for a engineer start. I don't really like engineers early on in the game, they're quite so expensive to get 9 inch nails to take out grouped balloons and it's also expensive, you have to wait for the, you have to wait for sentry guns to build up but it does look like he we're not going to cause him any problems here. Still, not. I wouldn't say that's the best. The best tower to start with, but yeah, he's got it up now. So he's going for blue balloons as well. Start off the game. It's not going to help his income that much. It's not really causing us much trouble. But hmm, we'll start sending other blues against him. And it looks like he's going to send up some pink, so we're going to have to get seeking surroundings and pop a few spikes down and continue with blues. So he's not really building his income much right now, but I mean, that's going to. Oh, uh, it looks like we're beginning to overrun him with blue balloons here. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to defend the green balloons to get on round six actually. Ah, he's gonna go for the wizard there. So that should actually be able to stop them now. Let's pop a few more in. Pretty much 400 income on round six. So it's looking good so far. He's not really put much pressure on us. So we haven't had to build up our ninja that much. Just a 3-1 right now, which seems to be doing the job. He's sending a few pinks there. And it looks like he's got I'm not sure why he's bought cleansing. Cleansing from there, but yeah. So, with round 8 coming up, we will save up and go for a wee yellow rush here. Just a mini one. See if it'll cause him any trouble at all. It's not. So, round now we need to get the wizard up, I reckon. And we'll get him up to lightning as soon as we can. Get a fireball. So we have the lead popping power now. And it looks like he's gonna go for a wee regen. I'm gonna battle energy that actually. Don't want to get taken down too early here and we'll get monkey sense up. So now what we need to do is we need to get up our spike factory there and get him up to blade maelstrom as soon as we can. Go for a couple of regen leads, it's not gonna do much. So get this guy up to we can always micro one of these guys and there he's sending in or there's some camels coming in now. So with our wizard and our blade maelstrom if we need it, we should be pretty well defended. We have a battle energy back now as well, so we need to go for a Moab as soon as we can. See how he see how he handles that. So yeah, I reckon send up Moab as soon as possible. I do want to get this Blade Maelstrom up first though, just so that we can take out any rushes. Like, it's not, that's not much of a rush actually, I'm not going to have to worry about that there. So let's go for a Zebra Rush to start with. So we'll just go for a wee mini Zebra Rush, see if we can force the battle energy. We're going to force it. We're definitely taking a couple of lives here. Oh, and there we go, late battle energy. So, 
Now what we want to do is wait for that to die out and go for the zebra. We need to end zebra rush again. So as soon as that's done, zebra, regen zebras, some more zebras on top and see if we can get a few more fruit. Oh, he's going to get a heli chopper up, but I don't know if it's going to, oh, it's going to, he's going to stop most of it, but we have got him down pretty low there. Maybe want to get, maybe build up our defense a little bit better, get another ninja in. Just in case he decides to rush us with a more, I think, in a second. I think I'll save up for one now. Send it out straight away. Go. One, two, three, four, five. It's balloon energy and follow it up with some. Oh, it looks like he's going to go for the same. We're going to battle energy that. And then get the blade maelstrom up there. Kill all these balloons. And we're going to take player down. So that's where the ninja blade maelstrom work well. As well as the wizard who can blade maelstrom to clean up. The wizard and the ninja take down that mob really quickly. So jumping into our end battle we're using the ninja mortar strategy. Without the banana farms of course. So we're up against Dan TDM. And water hazard. I'm just going to skip it. And I don't want ice flow, so we'll skip that. And we're going to get offside. Perfect map. So ninja, mortar, and for our final tower, again, I think I'll take the tank future. Don't want him. Let's get the cannon. It's not bad, not bad. Quite happy with those towers, really. Cannons, always good to get. Really strong. So. This time, I'm never sure what the best spot is in this map, but I think we'll go for a ninja right there. And get him straight up to a uh, 2 0. And that should be able to take out anything that he sends at us. So, starting with these red balloons for our balloon income. And he's not the yeah, so he's going to go for the banana farm start there. Uh, let's balloon energy some of these reds actually because he doesn't have much to defend him see if we can cause him oh he's, he's gonna get up the 1-1 one, one, but that's not gonna do any good and we're actually beginning to get some damage done here he's I'm not sure what he's doing but he's not doing it right so we're gonna get double shot straight away just make sure that we have that defense and he's gonna get double shot up but still he's or and he's quit. Oh no he hasn't. He's back. So we're gonna send out the blue balloons. Follow them up with some pinks. Yeah, he's gonna go for the same, so we're gonna have to get that up and pop our spikes back here. So yeah, a few pinks are gonna sneak through on his side. Hopefully we can keep the keep the blues going through. Ah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe one will. No. Doesn't look like it. And we've made him sell his farm actually. So I'm gonna pop a mortar in just because Casey's planning on rushing us after that sell of rapid reload. And let's go for a green rush against them with the balloon energy. Because all we need to do is take a couple of lives off him. And I don't know if he's gonna be able to stop this. Barely even got into game and we take down Dan TDM with the Ninja Mortar strategy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with our next Business TDM video.